take a picture. Okay, so this mouse is different from the others and we're about to find out why. So this is The Mouse and the Princess from the Tale of Despero and it was published by Candlewick Press. Okay, from the moment he was born, Despero Tilling was a mouse like no other. His eyes were wide open and he looked right up at what the light, which seemed to shine on him alone. His expe exceptionality, large ears, moved and flexed, they looked almost curious. The newborn mouse looked all around him. He noticed everything in the room. On the walls, he saw something most extraordinary. Words, rows and rows, and pages and pages of words. He couldn't stop looking at them. His mother, his father, and brother gathered at the bank, bank senate with the doctor to admire the new baby. Mom, he's so funny, said his brother Furlog, and look at those ears. Is it true, Despero was different? Despite his tiny size, he heard more, saw more, and experienced more than any other mice. As Despero grew older, but not much bigger, he came to love books. He was reading about a princess one day when he, when he heard strange, sad music. It was the mournful strumming of the king's guitar. Despero followed the sound inside a nearby chamber that he came upon a princess. Her name was Princess P, and she was lovely, more beautiful than even the storybook princess, but there were tears in her eyes. Why are you crying? asked Despero. Oh, she said, frightened for just a moment. Are you a rat? No, replied Despero. She asked, what are you, a mouse? Despero doffed his hat. I'm a gentleman, he said. He smiled and leaned a little closer. Well, how do you do? Despero could see that Princess P longed for something. He knew that this was the cause for her sadness. He told her about the storybook princess, how she lived, or how she too lived in a castle and how she too had a great sadness. How does this story end? asked the princess. Despero had not yet finished the story. He didn't know what happened to the fa fairy tale princess. Will you promise to read the rest of the story and tell me how it ends? asked Princess P. Despero promised. You are a very brave mouse, she said. She kissed her finger and touched it lightly to Despero's nose. Thank you, my good gentleman. Back in his room, Despero couldn't wait to tell his brother about the princess. She was beautiful, he said, like an angel. You are crazy, said Furlo. You can't talk to a human. It's the worst thing you can do. No, answered Despero. It's the best thing I have ever did. They'll throw you in the dungeon, cried Furlo. You'll get your, you'll get eaten by rats. It wouldn't be worth it, said Despero. When the mouse council learned what he had done, Despero was thrown in the dungeon, where he barely escaped being eaten by the rats. Despero couldn't hear things that others could not. It was only he, he who heard a cry for help when, from somewhere deep within the dungeon, he knew that soft, lovely voice. It was Princess P. She had been kidnapped and had been hidden in a prison cell. Despero raced to her side. I will deliver you from this evil, ma'am, he vowed. Despero thought about the royal library. He remembered the story about a brave knight who sets out to rescue a beautiful princess. Despero knew what he had to do. He hurried back upstairs into the kitchen. There he found a needle for a sword and Boldo, a genie made of pots and pans, Together they returned to the dungeon and battled the rats. Finally the rats slunk into the shadows and Princess P was saved. Despero was 
not like other mice. He was truly a brave knight. He had courage, chivalry, honor, and the love of a princess.